Harvard University, what one finds is that religious people in the U.S., again, generally Christians, are more likely to both donate money and volunteer their time even to non-religious charities relative to their secular counterparts. We can see that even people from outside the Christian milieu looking in have recognized this as one of the particular strengths of the Christian tradition. For example, consider the words of the Dalai Lama. In providing service to the greater human community through social work, Buddhism lags far behind Christianity. Buddhists can certainly learn a great deal from Christian service. What a wonderful endorsement from somebody on the other side of a religious divide. In conclusion, we have here five substantive ways in which Christianity is beneficial. Even when we bracket off from consideration its claims of metaphysical benefits like heaven. Generally speaking, Christianity helps people to be healthier, less criminal, happier, sexier, and more philanthropic. And given that hundreds of millions of people, indeed billions of people throughout the world, have come to embrace Christianity, that means that the world's overall levels of health, happiness, sexiness, philanthropy, and on and on, have been improved as a result, and that to a significant degree. Given all this, it seems clear, obvious, a slam dunk, that the world is better with Christianity. Thank you. Next up, Dan Barker, 10-minute opening. Thank you, Gene. Suppose I told you that I have the most beautiful garden in the world, and I want you to come over to my house and look at my garden. So you come over, look at this, and I show you, look at there's this beautiful flower here. And you say, you're right, that's gorgeous. It's amazing. Wow, and I'm looking around, and you're looking around the rest of my garden, and I'm saying, don't look there, wait, wait. Come here, I want to show you this other, look at this, look at this flower over here. And you say, you're right, Dan. That is amazing, that's incredible, that's gorgeous. Wow, those are beautiful flowers, but you're looking around and you're noticing that there's weeds and there's diseased plants and there's gopher holes and there's trash and there's those overgrown. And, and I'm saying, don't pay any attention to that. Look at these few little things that are beautiful. Would you say that I have a beautiful garden? No, you would probably say, you've got some beautiful flowers, but your garden is ugly. The same is true with Christianity. Christianity indeed has some beautiful flowers. Many or most Christians are good people. Many of them have enriched the world in beautiful ways. Many of them talk about peace and love and charity and compassion. And we applaud that. In fact, many of us march in the same marches with Christians for these causes that are making the world a better place. No one denies that Christians have been good for the world. No one denies that. The question is, is Christianity good for the world? We could say the same thing about the Dalai Lama. We could say the same thing about Muslims. Muslims are good people. They have enriched the world through many ways. Jews, Hindus, are giving, charitable, peaceful people. They have done wonderful things. But what we are doing when we say this is that what we were we are separating out from the religions those aspects of goodness and charity that are common to all of humanity. They are common across all the religions, which means those are not religious values. Those are human values that we're talking about. So if you want to look at what Christianity is, you don't look at those common human values that we all share. We're happy to share humanistic values with Gene and his church members. That's great. Let's work together. Let's be happy. Let's be joyful. But Christianity itself is the Bible. Christianity comes out of a book called the Bible. I'll tell you just a few little stories. It was Easter Sunday about four or five years ago in northern Wisconsin. A little girl named Kara Newman. Her parents were strong, Bible-believing, good people who believed the book of James, chapter 5, that says, Is any sick among you? Is any afflicted among you? Let them come before the elders and anoint the head with oil, and the prayer of faith will heal the sick. And so they did that. They said, No, let's not take her to the doctor. That would be disobeying God's powerful plan. The Bible says, All things whatsoever ye shall ask for in prayer believing, you shall receive. Is anything too hard for God? They believed Christianity. Their daughter died a horrible, needless.
needless death from easily treatable diabetes that day. She became a martyr for the faith of her parents. There are stories after stories after stories about how, not Christians, but how Christianity itself as a religion has harmed the world. My family is a Native American family. My dad